Hey, I'm Jeff, Green Country Custom Baits. Thanks for checking out the channel. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate everybody that subscribed so far. Hey, uh, but in the short, we got a spray session today, and we're going to be painting a, uh, a crawl pattern I call the flame crawl. put our flame crawl pattern on a wiggle ward here so we're gonna base coat the bottom of the bait in yellow so just get good coverage don't try to go too too heavy at one time uh, we're generally gonna Heat set these patterns anyway, and you just want to come up on the side of this bait about halfway and get pretty good coverage on that body itself. So I'm gonna heat set real quick and we'll be right back. All right, next color going down is gonna be a uh, real sparkly red. Kind of hit that top half a little down the shoulders. It is cold in this shop tonight, today. Finally getting some cool weather here in Oklahoma. Next color that goes down is a uh, somewhat of a green pumpkin color, really dark. And we're going to use this color on our back. We're also going to use this color for our splatter as well as our crawl markings. So, and like usual, I'll show you at the end of the video a recipe for this color and all the other ones that went into painting these two baits here, so. So there's kind of how our bait's starting off. And uh, as you can see, we've got the bright yellow, we've got the pearlish red, and uh, the dark green pumpkin back. So uh, <clears throat> next thing we need to do is start laying down our crawl pattern and our splatter. A little wet. I don't want to stick this uh, stencil up next to it, so we're gonna just blow some air and dry that off. That's what I was doing right there. And uh, we're gonna come down one more segment. We 
before we get into our J's here. bit of a mess there. We'll fix it up. Got our scale pattern on both. We'll come back, add a little bit of this texture. Now we're going to do some a splatter technique. Back our pressure off. Let's get some bigger splatters. size a little bit or decrease the size I should say and let's do the same thing on our Next up is our uh, scale divisions here on the belly. We're going to again do that in that same color as the back color. Dang it. A little bit hot with the pressure. Well, we'll have to clean that up with our Q-tip, dabbed in just a touch of water. Get that spidering out of there. The rest of it's fine. Get my pressure turned down, and we'll hit the other bait. Okay, final touches to this is just, we're going to darken our eyes. So to finish this pattern off, we need a orange, oh, and it's a real red orange.
drop down that belly. All right, that'll finish off the, the flame crawl. Tell me what you guys think. I hope you like it. Uh, it's a super good spring springtime pattern. Uh, it's a little different than most that you see. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. That belly color was uh, transformation by Calmar. Uh, we have a, just you know typical black on just our eye on this particular pattern. Then we did three drops of transparent leaf green to six drops of burn umber. And that's what the bulk majority of all the markings on this particular bait are. Uh, the top color is pearl red. And autoborn yellow is our main body color. So I uh, hope you like the crawl. Uh, appreciate you guys always stopping in. Uh, hit the like button, please. And uh, please subscribe. If you're into anything uh, uh, bass fishing, uh, I think you'll you'll find some things on this channel that you like, especially if you're into lure art or want to learn how. And don't forget, I'll leave a link up there at the top uh, where you see that eye uh, to uh, the complete online tutorial for those of you out there that may be just beginners getting started. I got a little bit of everything for you uh, in that playlist as, as well. So till next time, uh, this is Jeff signing out. Go check out the web too, www.greencountrybaits.com.